Hunger is insidious in this country. It's not starving kids on the street, it's elders who are making decisions between medicine and food. Given our cost of living, they simply, on the basis of their income, cannot make the ends meet. The most prevalent killers in this population are type 2 diabetes and heart disease because when you can get food, it tends to be high fat, high calorie food with very low nutrient density. And if the doctors are asking them to eat healthier and they don't have the money to purchase the proper type of food, then the doctor is just giving them a prescription that's not gonna get filled. But if we have a food pantry in the hospital, the doctor can send them to the food pantry to pick up food free of cost. Patients can only come to our food pantry with a prescription. We have a form in our electronic medical record called food pantry and all we have to do is click on that form and put the patient's name and the reason why we are prescribing the food pantry. Based on what's on the referral and the number of people in their household, we put cards together for the family so they can see what they're getting. Jessica, you want to help? We're currently serving an average of 7,000 per month. It's about between 1,800 and 2,000 families. They're also learning how to cook these foods in the food demonstration kitchen, which is right next door. The providers usually are the ones that encourage their patients to come to the food demo kitchen. It's really important to be able to show them how to make those changes. I didn't know how to really cook my food the healthy way until I came here. What I see in my practice is patients come back and have lost 10% of their body weight, for example. I will be able to take them off insulin because they've lost weight. The Preventive Food Pantry really is an example of our mission to provide exceptional care without exception. And it really reflects our commitment to get people healthy and keep them well.